Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So today we are going to try Fusey Shamrock. Uh, this is from New Holland Brewing Company, hard seltzer smoothie, mint, vanilla, and milk sugar. Um, do we have an ABV? No. It's 16 fluid ounces in the can. Yeah. Um... 7.9% ABV. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, this can, most of the smooches and some of the other ones either say roll it or store upside down. This does not tell us to do that. So this is going to be interesting. I am a big mint fan, and it is green. <gasps> oh! It's those balls. Oh! It? Oh! <laughs> Those balls are in there. Uh, yep. <laughs> what? Balls of what? Aren't those balls? <laughs> it, it doesn't say it's supposed to have balls in there, but there's chunks of something. I thought it would. What are those? Those Bubba Tees? You think it was a boba tea? Yeah, I thought it was those balls. Like those Brad. balls would be mint. What, you want to trade me? Yeah, I'm not puking okay. over this stuff. I will. Um, it's like a shamrock shake, yeah. but thinner. Yep. The head... Is thick and green. It's almost like if you make a milkshake at home with ice cream and milk, that's kind of how... It looks on the top. It's it's a green color, but lighter green, almost more seltzery down in here um, than our, I guess, experience with smoothies. Okay, let's smell. Definitely get that mint. I almost, I, I don't know if it's the type of mint they're using, but I almost want to say like a chocolate mint is what I'm getting. I bought this in uh, the side March. Car. March, March, right? right? Yep. You, we've had it for a little over a month. That's about all it, maybe a touch of vanilla in there. But, yeah, it's definitely mint. So if you're a mint fan, I think you'll like it. If you're not a mint fan, you probably won't. You ready to drink it? You want me to drink it first? I'm really nervous about this. That's weird. <laughs> Who wants a mint smoothie? It's August. I'm beyond a shamrock shake. There's only one time in the year... Do you want to drink a mint shake? And that's at St. Patrick's Day. It's so weird, though. Yeah, it's, it is it is a thicker body. From what it looks like, you think it would be thin. It is a little thicker. So I would say that smoothie part is right. Um, I, I think the mint and vanilla mixes weird. I don't know if it's the milk sugar, if it's lactose. Sometimes that also comes out at, or off as a vanilla. So it's almost like having two vanillas in there. And I think the vanilla covers up the mint in the taste a little too much. But the aftertaste, you do get a little mint with that vanilla. It is, it is a very shamrock shaky though. Like... I feel like it like tastes a creamy like mint. the whipped cream in yeah. the shamrock shake. I can get that. But because I like the shakes, I don't like the, the body of this. You know, if I'm drinking mint, I want it to be a milkshake. I don't right. want it to be a seltzer. Right. Um, I'm going to sneeze. I think. <coughs> yeah, the... So I'm just it's like, weird. Yeah, I I would not. I'm not going to finish that. I mm. wow. <laughs> I don't like it. It's it, and I think it's a mental thing for me because I don't want to drink minty. I don't drink what, minty. What? Because you seltzers. saw those 
chunks coming out of this one. Um, yeah, I think I, I almost want to say, like Jessica was saying, more of a creamy mint or a mint that has had um, the whipped cream mixed say, in it. Yeah, I would say like <coughs> whipped cream, like the like homemade whipped cream on top mixed in, but I just think the body of it is just too thin for me. Yeah, it's it, the body, yeah. Cause I would just, go, I'll, I'll go four out of five. I think it's good. I would like to see it on tap uh, just to see, but for the most part, oh. um, I don't get any alcohol for almost 8%. Um, but if you're a mint fan, I think you'll you'll think it's okay. Like I would drink another one if we went to New Holland, the brewery or the pub, I should say. I would probably try one on draft just to see, but I'm guessing they don't have it anymore. What are you what were you going? Did you say a score? No. Jeez. I was like I can't do anything with her. <laughs> I would go like a three. Because if the taste isn't bad, it's just not a preference of mine. Uh, wow. One of my friends have checked it in, 4.25. Uh, 28 people have checked it in overall, 4.06. The one friend I have, light mint, vanilla, uh, taste has a very nice blend of mint, vanilla, and lactose. So there you go. I, I was also going to say, I wouldn't say it's over sweetened either um, by that milk sugar slash lactose. But yeah, yeah. Um, if you're if you're in the mint, definitely one to pick up and try. You good? Jeez. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. <laughs> Cheers.